I fucking like around, bro. Work, like you don't even work, give a fuck. Just messed it up. So that's important to you to be like the breadwinner. I'm the caretaker of society. Mm. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see some. Let's see some. Let's see if it even gets. It's probably not even that political like that or toxic or fucking whatever you want to call it. Probably ain't even on that type of timing for real. But we gonna see. Okay. <laughs> Pull it up, bro. <laughs> oh, they started it off like this, bro. Pull it up, bro. Let me see some. Let me see some, bro. No. I'm not going to lie. If you say no, you're cat. If there was never a point and you were like 13 years old and you're wondering, damn, like, has a, is it, is this, is it bitch I'm gonna fuck like had a 10 incher before and like this, like, like, you know what I'm saying? You're a cat. You're a cat. You're a cat. I remember, um, 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 I remember who was it? I think it was Abella Anderson, bro. Abella Anderson was getting fucked by some bitch, bro. And like, she was bad. I was weird. I know I didn't beat like like like. Okay, I was legit, right? I bet Landers in bad as fuck, boy. But uh, yeah, this bitch was bad. So I was watching this shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga dick long as shit. Like, is these what dick? Like, this nigga dick was long as fuck, my boy. I bet like danger, nah, Anderson. I'm talking about danger. That's 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 another bitch. And like, I was wondering, like, wait. What? And then you finally fuck a bitch for the first time. You're like, oh, okay. She can't even take the like. Okay. Okay. You you fuck, it's like, okay straight. But if you're saying you've never even questioned it in your life, you're a capper. You're not hard. You're a capper. You're a capper. Bro, Danger has this one video. This not not a not a not a porn video. This video of her doing like she's doing entertainment. And she was wearing green socks. That's all I'm saying. She was wearing some lime. She was that. That was the first Abella Danger video I've ever seen in my life. That bitch was. <laughs> she had lime green socks on, bro. I will never forget that video, dog. I said, yeah. Lime green socks in the entertainment video she was doing on YouTube. Not no porno. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a good load of crap. Lo load of cap. It's just a normal thing to be worried about. Like a load of cap. Growing up, like you're like, am I normal? You know, like like <laughs> unless you're just going around seeing your homeboys penises and you know like you're the size of every other nigga or a little bit bigger or some shit you worried about it or there's something about you we don't know about i wasn't seeing penises only penis i knew was my penis my nigga and then when i seen that one video of abella anderson getting fucked i was like okay wait hold on i hate this but my first my first test i did to make sure of it, niggas in high school were talking about some, some toilet toilet roll shit. I already knew my girth was on point when the toilet roll method with the toilet paper roll wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I already knew those. Um. <laughs> toilet roll, yeah, get your, get the toilet paper. Toilet paper, not paper towel, toilet paper. And in GTA, in GTA, test that shit. I'm not saying how, but in GTA, use your brain and test that shit. See if it go through. And if you got a needle dick and it do go through, see if it come out the other side. In GTA. <laughs> I guess like in the GTA game. In the in the GTA game. In the game in GTA, in the in the in the in the puzzle game in GTA. Like when I was younger, I was like, whoa, is this right. normal? Is this not? But like 
eventually I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm fine. I feel like this whole conversation is just like bringing to my awareness how impressionable and like how much of our lives and our masculinity can't is be wasting when tissues when everybody's like, oh, you gotta have a big dick, you gotta have a big dick, and all you see is like, only time you see a dick is on porn, and it's like. Yeah. 14 inches, then it's like, well, mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Then, of course, you're gonna like start thinking about it versus. Due to sound issue, we have to say you in the mic. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Look at these niggas. Oh, yeah. Now, nah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas was scary as fuck. No, I don't wanna look insecure. I'm not going to them now. So get your nut ass on out of here. Oh. Uh, you, oh, you changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at these niggas, bro. Y'all niggas not solid, bro. All you niggas that said no, listen to my voice. You're not solid. You're not solid. I'm sorry. You're not solid. You're not solid to me. <laughs> I, I changed my mind because what he said was, it, it made a lot of sense. Because I remember the first time I saw porno and I saw a black guy's penis, I was like, I'm not like that. Uh, okay. As I got older, I perfected my craft. I've never had a problem with women. It has nothing to do with the penis. It's all about, it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. You just love a woman. You embrace each other. And it's just, I've never had a problem with a woman since then. I think for younger guys, this is the concern that I'm realizing is like, maybe if these discussions were more open about size and, and whatever, and that really over time, it all becomes okay and it's fine, um, maybe that would help a lot. Okay. A man should pay for the first date. Three, two, one. Pull this up. <laughs> Pull this up. Pull this up. Pull this up. A man should pay for the first date. I, I, think, I think my problem when it comes to questions like this, is the should. Is the should. Do I? Will I? Yes. But the should I thing, just knowing that, oh, I'm supposed to be doing this, throws me off. Trey. Good, boy. Yes. Yes, like I ain't never been on a first date and like I had the bitch pay bro Right, but I just hate the should The should part. It's the little things that bug me, bro You're supposed to type shit like bro. I don't know for some reason that just the just that just that being said fucks with me Fuck is you talking about should <sighs> Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I like the way the old school ways work. They did work. We just messed it up. It's so like tipping to, to like take that leadership. Role yeah, to be, tradition to be Kinda. like the breadwinner. I'm the caretaker. Like you're not. You don't have to tip. You're not supposed to tip, but yeah, you are gonna tip. But if a nigga tell me you gotta tip, it's like, bro, what the fuck? Fuck society. you talking about I'm supposed to I tip? Like saying it this way. Once you give the woman the power. Then you just demasculate Fuck a strip rock, give you this money I if I want to give you this money, and nigga. Happy. And my, my grandparents Fuck. and my parents, I'm just going to stick with it. Because it works. It's not perfect, but it works. Shout out to all my uh, restaurant working niggas, but you strippers for real. Works. Shout out to y'all, though. Appreciate y'all. Mm. We need y'all. Be a man. Plain and simple. Uh, we I need y'all. I, I don't know. I think we're just getting in dangerous territory when we start talking about You get paid depending on At my mood, nigga. Like, Yo, baby, if you want to pay for this, like, there is no hierarchy here. Like, if you want to pay for this, pay for this. And maybe next time I'm like... I just got a check, so I'll pay for it. Wasn't this the first meal, though? He yeah, said? the first one. You only yeah. get one chance to make a first impression. What does it matter if if it's a girl or a guy? It's 2019. I feel better about that. Yeah, your logic I shouldn't too. be like no disrespect, like oh because my grandpa did it and it worked for him, then it works for me. If she's not gonna date me that second time because I didn't pay for her, I think I dodged a bullet. Don't pull this. 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 Oh, I thought somebody pulled. Don't pull this. Don't pull this. Don't pull this. Don't pull this. I ain't gonna lie. Emote only. Emote only. Emote. Emote only. Right now. Emote only. Right now. Emote only. Right now. Right now. Emote only. Right now. 
Emote only right now. Right now. Uh, be real. Be real. Gotta do research. Ooh. I say yeah. <laughs> Disagree. First, when I saw it, you know, and talking to my friends, a lot of and family, a lot of people in the South, they're like, these women should have spoke up a long time ago. And then I had to like step aside and really process it for myself. I agree, until obviously I agree, but please do not get me, do not get the real me too, like like bitches who woman. Who really has some shit? Don't do him confused with the with the with the with, with the fake ass bitches that just be saying shit, right? Don't 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 get them don't get them confused. False allegation ass bitches, bro. Don't no, I ain't talking about them. I ain't talking about them bitches. Them bitches will kick rocks, nigga. Kick rocks, bro. Kick the fuck out of rocks, bro. Why every celebrity? Why it seem like every like every celebrity has some type of shit on that type of timer, bro? There's not, there's almost really any celebrity that, that like a bitch doesn't try to make a story. That is crazy as fuck. That is crazy as fuck, bro. Oh, and be like, you know what? And, she didn't and feel them comfortable. Niggas, and them and niggas get any she bitch they in want. Society in a place where it was so it really should be happening thing, less yeah. to celebrities than 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 normal niggas. About it. But it happens so way more. Have the platform. Like the percentage of celebrities that get. Me too, compared to the percentage of people who are like not known is way smaller. Ability, bro. I'm like, that's amazing. That shit is. Speak your truth. Don't even make sense. What do sense you tell a child who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole life destroyed, and then people just go, huh? There's always going to be people that take advantage of it, or it's not going to be perfect. Wait, wait, what? And then people just go, huh? Child who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole life destroyed, and then people. Okay, but we're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the. We're not talking about them bitches, bro. The lying ass bitches. We talking about a woman who actually did get raped and destroyed a nigga. I don't give a fuck what happens to that nigga life. I don't give a fuck if his life is ruined. But if he actually didn't do that shit, then yeah, that's tough. GGs. We'll just go. Huh. But if he did that shit, yeah, get him the fuck. I don't give a fuck if his life. What the fuck? That guy did? What the fuck? There's always gonna be people that take advantage of it, or it's not gonna be perfect. We're figuring it out as we go, but I think it's done more good than it's done bad. I and think you get my, to, I think we get to acknowledge the yeah, bad. Yeah, probably. Though. Like I think, yeah, like of that's course. that's why I'm doing like this thing is like for us to say like, oh, he did that to me, and all of a sudden now we've like vindicated that guy is like vilified. Like there is no that shit is fucked though, because when a nigga gets wrongly accused, the way the world is now, even if. All the proof in the world comes out. Like, he can say anything. Even if it's not true and the world knows that. For the rest of his life, for some reason, on the internet, he gonna be like, that's still gonna be under his name. He's That's still gonna be under his name. Forever. No chance of, like, him having a say in the conversation. Trial by mob conversation is every not time. good. Like, this mob mentality is bad. I yeah. agree with that, but... I don't think that's exclusive to the Me Too movement. But we're using it right now to say, oh, that person is bad. Oh, fuck that person. There's no further conversations being happening. If it's a movement to say, yes, okay, this hierarchy we've created of men and women, which is a result of the way men are expected to act, that women are expected to act. Let's have those conversations and everything changes and I'll be over there all fucking day. Toxic masculinity over love. <laughs> all right, take it out some more, take it out some more, take it out some more. Take it out some old. Toxic masculinity. I mean, I said some I'm an emote. Take it out emote. Toxic mascul masculinity is overblown. Man, that shit was so 2017, bro. Lay on different time and now. Toxic masculinity is overblown. I overblown. Wait, what? Is Overblown. What, do, what is that? Can you, can you use a different word? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. It's the exact oh, right overblown. word. Yeah, I think I just somewhat agree that it's blown out of proportion because I think what happens with social media is a group of people coining a term, and now it's we're all painted by it. Like we are not in like a post, I don't know, like rape culture world. You know, like women are being catcalled every day. 
and so like men are still. I mean, not, I, I mean that's so subjective. I don't know. Like you can't as like a predatory presence. I mean, it's not my women. say to say like, it's overblown. I, I think, think a woman has to answer that. I think it's just it's new. If we were good men, there wouldn't be feminists. They wouldn't be attacking us. They wouldn't be hating us. You have a lot of guys who don't want to commit to marriage. You have a lot of guys who catcall. So yes, Not men have become toxic. And once again, I have, to be, I have to be consistent with all my beliefs and all my morals. I'm very traditional. I see what you're saying, but the way you're framing it, like this, this word moral is kind of... We don't know what that is anymore. It's, well, it's like it sounds like you're saying like it's men's job to be like the moral compass of society. Mm, it is. No. I, Bro, I, it's cr it's so okay. I remember I was on tw Twitter. I think, tw bro, do these motherfuckers on Twitter even exist in real life? Like, I think I saw like a tweet of some shit, like some girlfriend bringing her, like cooking for his boyfriend or some shit, something like that. And like the girls in the comments were just like. Of course, the woman doing this, that, and the third. This is, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Hello, bro. Like, what? Like, like, do these bitches exist in real life, or do they only lay in Twitter, bro? Or are they only on Twitter, bro? I think no. it's everyone's it, 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 It's everybody's, but Bro, men, Twitter if, if men want to the coin worst. themselves as the leaders, you have to hold but up to the good and the bad. That's part of the problem, though. Like, that's what I think toxic masculinity or it's putting too much pressure on yourself. I mean, it's very obvious that we're grappling with, like, the history and the damage of, like, what a world completely run by men does. To I us. mean, why can't it just be toxicity, bruh? There's toxic humans, men, female. That's it. That's why I think we're talking Fuck. about toxic masculinity. I am comfortable showing my emotions. Three, two, one. I'm comfortable showing my emotions. It depends on which emotion. It depends on which emotion. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Showing my uh, I, need, I, need, I need more descriptive. What does he mean? All of them? Comfortable showing my emotion. I'm comfortable showing my anger. Am I comfortable? Uh, I can't go all the way agree. No, I can't go all the way agree. I gotta be real with myself. I'm comfortable showing some emotions. I can't, I can't, I can't agree. That'd be cap. It's been like harped upon me for years that like showing my emotions were bad and like me trying not to be gay i'm like no like i don't want to show these emotions because i'm not gay i can't be gay like i'm not supposed to be gay like the church tells me my dad tells me my mom tells me everybody's telling me i'm not supposed to be gay so like yeah. just understanding that at 25 now 26 like i'm over here like okay like Oh, you're insecure. Okay, that's what that feels like. Oh, you're sad. Emote only. That's emote what that only. Feels like I can now be aware of those things. Chat, chill. But to emote show only. Show them to other people right now is like really hard for me. I do feel like I'm very verbally like about my emotions with my wife, but I wouldn't agree completely because I'm not like that with anyone else. I mean, I just filled a, a college class and I was crying about it to my wife, but no one else at school saw me. Hey, Chin up, boy. You know? I about. specifically texted my wife, make sure the kids are asleep. Yeah, the college crap class. I just knew I was going to be like, as soon as I stepped through that threshold to my house. There's no way I could cry over feeling something in school because I know the only reason why I feel is because I didn't try hard enough. That is completely it. That's why I can, I would never be, I could be pissed like, like fucking hell, but like crying, never, because I know it's my fault. Deep down, I know, okay, I could, I could have tried harder. I honestly didn't try that hard. I honestly just fucking wasn't paying attention like that in class. Yeah, I didn't study that hard. I know. I tried to win. There's no way I'm t crying over school, bro. Unless if it's because, like, I can't afford it or something like that, that's different. But if it's because I failed the class, I know exactly why I failed the class, bro. I was just going to let go, and I didn't want them to see that. But, like, the next day I sat but down, But if I, I had did try super, like, hey, super hard, and I know, failed that, then you know, that's tough. You know, this class, and... They're like, oh, are you oh, okay? No. I'm like, yeah, of course. You know, that's a different type of human. Kids, I remember like seeing my dad cry for the first time when his mom died. I never I seen my father like, cry. Imprinting that in my mind as like, wow, you know, like my dad can be upset, and that was like a an important 
thing to witness. I live with my dad for like what? Yeah, it's real. I was seven raised years of my life. Two parents that I, I seen that nigga cry once or eight cry. years maybe. The effect that that had on me was. Bro, I remember. I don't know why I remember this, bro. He, a nigga was mowing the lawn, bro. That was legit. My dad was doing something with the turtles in the backyard and somebody was mowing the, I don't know. Bro, the nigga ran over a fucking rock and the lawnmower spit it out and it shot into my dad's eye and he started bleeding like on some, on some like, Sharingan shit. Like just blood coming straight out of his fucking eye and that nigga didn't like, that nigga was like, Fuck. Like, I never see that nigga cry for shit. I mean, I don't think I'd cry. Would I cry over pain? Does pain make y'all cry anymore? I remember when I was a kid, yeah, pain used to make me cry. But what age did pain stop making us cry? Like, stop. Like, when did we stop crying from pain? Huh. Thirteen, fourteen. Like, I literally just recently seen my shoulder pop out of his socket. And that and it hurt so bad. That that's the worst pain I felt in a minute. But like the thought of crying didn't even come like come to my brain. All right, you can take it out. Emote only. I take the off that. I probably stopped crying for pain when I was like, I don't know. When did that shit just stop, bro? Like, was there just a conclusion in your brain? Today's the last day I'm ever gonna cry from pain. By the time one of them passed Never away, again. very suddenly, I didn't really seem to be affected at all. So I've actually had to do a lot of therapy on that. This thing about masculinity, not being able to show your emotions is very bad. Chat, when's the last, when's the last time you chilled with your homies in the neighborhood outside? Did you know that was gonna be the last day ever you would ever stop chilling with them outside, like playing around, running around the street and shit? Did you know that day was gonna be the last day ever y'all were gonna stop chilling outside and shit? Did you know that day? Or did you just go inside that day, parted ways and shit? Oh yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all this week or some shit, but it just never happened. Like, did you know that day, that time y'all was chilling on the block, sitting on the green generator shit outside or hooping or whatever the fuck y'all was doing? Did you know that was going to be the last day y'all was going to chill outside on some shit like that? Bro, I remember me, Jordan, Greg, Sean, we would be playing outside every day from the time we were five years old up until like shit. 11 type shit Every day we was outside on some shit When was that last Fucking day where we were like Okay I'm not going outside today I'm not gonna lie I think it was I know Sean moved And Greg moved but I think we stopped before I don't know I think one day I just went to knock on Jordan's door Like he just couldn't come outside I went to knock on Sean's door. He, I don't know. Something happened. I don't know. Nobody can come outside that day. Nothing too serious. The next day just came. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to knock. They probably like, yeah, I'm not going to knock. I'm, I don't want to knock. I don't know. Well, that's tough. It puts us backwards in society. And, and we need to be thinking about how to tap into our emotions in a healthy way together. Thank you for sending in your treat, brother. Yeah, of yeah, course. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great job. Man. You too. <laughs> nice here. Brilliant. All right. I got to be honest. I'm actually.